Hello, this is Amber Smith, and welcome to the Indu Season Homeschool Podcast, uh, where we share tips, tools, and resources to help homeschooling families find their best homeschooling year ever. So today we are going to be talking about something important when you're beginning the homeschooling stages, especially when you're coming to the high school age. Um, and that is the question of how does your child actually graduate? Um, a lot of parents are curious, especially as you make this transition to high school credits. Um, how is that going to work with the local high school? Are your child um, going to be able to make choices when it comes to graduation? Are they going to miss out on specific things? So let's cover a little bit about how graduation actually works um, with your homeschooling student. So it is important to decide come that ninth grade year um, whether it's really important for you and your child to cross the stage with your peers. And that's an important decision. Uh, it's a lot of things that you're gonna weigh out um, with, with maybe the social connection and with your teammates and friends. Um, it is a serious consideration because if you choose to do the majority of your high school credits as a homeschooling student, um, they will not be earning those credits at their local high school. That being said, um, the school will only award a graduation diploma for credits earned either through the high school or through an, an accredited program where they have um, developed accountability and are having some record keeping that they do as an outside source for you. And so there are some answers. If it's really important for your child to cross the stage with their peers, um, if you as a parent just feel like it's really important that you don't take away that event from them, um, then going with an accredited school is a great way to still meet the requirements of your public school and be able to homeschool as well. So it's not an if or, but really um, a how can I, can I complete the requirements uh, with the resources that are available to me. And you can look up accredited schools um, either in your state, those that are accepted. Um, a, a simple Google search is going to give you a lot of answers there. But it's important to know and plan ahead because if you begin taking credits, and usually your students in high school are going to take the majority of their credits those freshman and sophomore years, especially in a subject like English, which you're going to need four credits for most graduating schools as a requirement. Um, so if you miss that credit now, you're going to have to double up in later years if you haven't completed that credit um, for the school, either through the school or through an accredited source, if you want and feel it's very important that your child graduates through the public school ceremony. So that being said, if you have evaluated and said, you know what, um, we are removing our child from the public school and we don't really care about walking across the stage with kids and, um, and we are exiting that system, then congratulations. Uh, you have a solid foundation on what you want to accomplish as your goals as a homeschooling family. And that's also very important. It's very important to be clear about the goals you want to accomplish in your homeschool. Um, I will say that's the most vital thing, is to know what you have as goals for your student, for your family, um, and for yourself as the teaching parent, established well before you jump into school. I know some of you are just removing a child, uh, maybe because of a situation, maybe because of an educational decline, perhaps because of a bullying situation or just a conflict of, of ideas. Uh, so maybe you're at the place where you have to transition to school right now and you're making a quick decision. But setting your goals is really the first step, even before choosing curriculum or before you um, decide what subjects you want to enter into. So knowing what you want to accomplish is going to help you find the tools then to help you make the choices about how you're going to accomplish those goals. So I hope that's understandable. But looking at um, making that choice about graduation, knowing that uh, you're comfortable in your decision to graduate your child on your own is going to get you um, a lot of freedom in, in hindsight. Uh, what I did for making a plan for uh, graduation is in Iowa, uh, we as parents have the ability to establish the graduation requirements for our student. 
uh, if you are not familiar with graduation requirements, it's very easy. Um, I simply looked at several of the high schools in my area. I looked at some high performing high schools and I looked at some more rural homeschools or high schools since we're in a rural area as well. And I just got kind of an average idea of the amount of credits that were required for students to graduate. Now there was a vast difference between those schools. And so to help me make a better decision, I actually looked at some of the college's entrance requirements, thinking if the goal of high school is to maybe get my child into college, then I would rather look at what the colleges expect when my child comes in than perhaps what the high schools um, require for a child to do to be able to exit their program with a graduation certificate. So uh, as looking at those colleges, I got a much clearer picture of the general needed credits for graduation. And that gave me a guideline to set. Now for myself, uh, that meant that we had four English credits. That meant that we wanted three math credits, three science credits, uh, I think four social studies credits, and, um, and then various electives and otherwise. So uh, I think reading in the younger grades and things like that. So look at those requirements and that will help give you a really clear picture of what's required of a student in the first place. That will help you build a plan now for those high school years. So talking about graduation, as your child completes those credits, they're actually getting closer and closer to graduation. The beauty of homeschooling is that you can actually give those credits earned for the work they've done in the school year that they're in. And so perhaps your child is advancing in math and has already done uh, the eighth grade pre-algebra introduction, maybe in sixth or seventh grade. Maybe they're working on algebra one now. You can give them the high school credit for the high school level work they're doing. Um, I've had a, a broad range of children as graduates. And so um, I've had 18 year old graduates and I've had 15 year old graduates, depending on the level of work they've done, where they were in a group with their siblings, because we had multiple students working together in the same age and um, grade level groups. So uh, you can have a lot of flexibility in where your child is at in maybe their learning. Maybe they need some time on one subject, but are given the freedom to maybe excel in a subject that they enjoy or that they just uh, have some ease in and they want to move faster in that curriculum. Yeah, that's the beauty of it is that you can give them credit and work at a higher level and still credit them for the high school work that they've done. So as we near that, so as we near the place where your child has completed their high school credits, we're not talking about an age. We're not talking about a grade level. We're talking about completing the exit requirements. Um, this is a great feeling for a child who maybe really wants to be done with school. And you can have them look at the four-year plan. You can have them look at the credits they need to graduate and give them the reins to their high school career. You can say, hey, if you want to work, if you want to get out on your own, here's the exit plan. This is what's required of you. And let them do the work. Let them set the goal to achieve and accomplish their goals um, and, and challenge them to rise to the occasion. If you want to prove that this child is ready to move out and be independent, the best way to do that is give them an opportunity to excel now while they're living with you and under your guidance. And so give them a challenge to rise to the occasion and do the work um, in front of them and earn maybe their freedom or earn their time to take college level classes um, and really rise to the occasion. Uh, I will share over and over again that my goal in homeschooling, I don't know what's happening with my light, sorry about that, uh, but my goal in homeschooling is to create opportunities for win every day. And so I want to make it possible for my children to have a win. I want to make it possible for myself to feel like I'm winning. And so if we can create ways that are a positive answer to maybe even a conflict or a difficulty, um, and we can give our child a way to solve the problem themselves without us dragging them along, it's going to go a lot better for you as the homeschooling parent. Um, and your child is going to build this sense of accomplishment and um 
your child is going to build this sense of accomplishment and and uh, trust in himself that they can do the things that are asked of them. So it, it is an exciting season and it's an exciting opportunity when you homeschool that you can offer your kids that maybe they wouldn't have, they would be held or restrained into a certain grade level or a certain expectation on their capacity, which um, you have lifted off because uh, you are not uh, bound by those requirements. So as you're looking at graduation, uh, there are some opportunities for you to take part in. You could join a co-op. And as part of a co-op, uh, a co-op will host a graduation party. So you may want to be part of, of a small group who gets together, maybe share some classes, uh, does some accountability at the high school level, maybe cover some topics that uh, you're not quite prepared to cover. Maybe you don't speak French and your child wants to learn it and there happens to be a parent in the co-op that wants to share. Uh, maybe, you know, science and chemistry wasn't your bag and you can join a co-op and your child can do labs once a week with some other teens. So there are some great opportunities for you to take part in if you feel like you you need support or if you feel like you want to build community and have some structure to your homeschool a to keep you accountable which is great and b to keep your child accountable outside of you uh, there is a great uh oh just a, a great help that comes with somebody else putting the expectations on your child and you not always being the one who has to make the demand for chores and laundry and school and you know just personal responsibilities so it's nice if sometimes you can outsource uh, somebody else giving them some instruction as well so you could join a co-op and do graduation that way once your child has earned the requirements that you have set for graduation or if you're in a state other than iowa once you have met whatever the state requirement is for graduation um then you can move forward to the graduation ceremony or portion so uh, also like in iowa our homeschool state organization hosts a graduation ceremony and so they are going to put on a graduation every year and it is a fantastic event and parents are invited to participate to be part they present the diploma to their child and it's actually just a really meaningful um, and beautiful ceremony so that is also an opportunity you could take part in now my last kids have not been interested in doing the graduation ceremony and so um, we have been as informal as having a graduation party and giving them their diploma at the graduation party and um, or as informal as my last son who just didn't really want to have an event and I handed him his graduation diploma at the breakfast table. So um, it's really up to you. Now, as far as a diploma goes, uh, you can order those online and uh, HSLDA, Homeschool Legal Defense Association, actually has a link online and you can order a diploma through the company that they have a source and a link and a discount for and you can just personalize it completely for your homeschool and you can get the padded cover and the whole nine yards so you can be very official there's nothing um, home done about these diplomas you can go as beautiful and you can pay as much expense as you'd like I think we've, we've bought a very formal nice one because it was my first year and it was exciting and so that was about $80 uh, to buy it independently uh, I think with homeschool Iowa I was able to order cap gown and my diploma as part of the ceremony package and so that simplified it for me uh, this last year I literally went on canva and downloaded a template and filled in all the information and printed my own diploma on really nice paper and so uh, you really have a ton of options as far as what to choose for a diploma that diploma that you've issued as long as you have followed your state guidelines holds as much weight as a diploma issued by the public school and so um, homeschool legal defense has worked really hard to make sure that homeschool diplomas are honored and taken with as much weight and authority as those from a public school so as long as you have met all of your state's laws and requirements then um, then you have the authority to issue that diploma in uh, you and your other parents name and your child uh, is awarded to them for completing the requirements of your state for graduating high school. So you have the authority to write your child's diploma. And that's pretty exciting because you're the one who did all of the work in the first place. So when you're weighing these options and you're looking at deciding a uh, high school, remember that yes, maybe sacrificing the graduation ceremony seems really frightening or like a big deal right now. But consider that when you're four years removed from the entire public school system, it may 
not even feel like, um, like an event at all. So I just encourage you that, um, yeah, it may seem like a big leap because it's not what you're familiar with or what you've done in the past, but also um, to your child, it might not be any big deal. And you can find alternatives to celebrate your accomplishment um, in a really unique and meaningful way because you have also created your education in a really unique and meaningful way as well. So some resources from you, uh, for you, you can look at the HSLDA, the Homeschool Legal Defense Association's website, and you can find their information about graduation. They have um, some links and sources for you to just buy materials if you're looking to maybe get a diploma or, um, or even cap and gown and those kinds of things. And we've ordered our kids tassels before uh, just so they have one to commemorate their ceremony, ceremony as well. Uh, you can look, uh, if you're in Iowa, you can look on Homeschool Iowa's website and you can find out information about their graduation celebration. Uh, you can sign up. We've had people from even outside of the state, if they don't have a graduation ceremony and are members of Homeschool Iowa, then they have traveled here because they don't have a local support place. And so um, if you are in a Homeschool Iowa member or interested in becoming one, uh, check out Homeschool Iowa at homeschooliowa.org and you can get more information about their graduation ceremony as well. So if you have questions, uh, you can always leave a comment on this blog post. Uh, you can leave a comment on my podcast, or you can uh, leave a comment on any of my social. You can DM me at 200 fingers and toes on Instagram or Facebook. Um, and I would love to hear your questions or maybe uh, what are your, uh, oh, what are your hesitations about choosing to graduate homeschool? And does that um, cause you some fear or cause you a, a, a feeling of loss? And and to know that, you know, that's okay. If you're feeling like you're going to miss out or you're feeling like your kid is going to miss out or be robbed of the experience, those are all legit responses to making this decision. Because it is true, um, if you've gone two years down the road and you go back to the public school, they are highly likely to say you don't have the ability to earn enough credits to graduate at this point and walk across the stage with your peers. And so um, it is important to know that ahead of time. And that's why I feel like this is a really important podcast to share. But also, don't be afraid. Like there are alternatives. So you could do an accredited school and get those credits um, verified and carried through through your public system. Um, you can do a HASAP. So you can do a homeschool assistance program through your public school. You're going to lose um, some freedoms because the school is going to dictate a little bit about what kind of curriculum you can use, but you can buy your own curriculum on the side if you want to and pay for those things like Bible um, or Christian literature that you want to add to your school. So um, you get to choose. Like we all have personal beliefs and we all have personal things that we're going to stand on, but you're the parent and you get to decide how your family's homeschool is going to run. And, and I don't think that you should be influenced by fear. You shouldn't be influenced by, um, you know, some people's strong opinions just because they want to make a moral stand. Um, that's for you to decide. And, and I think it's really important that if it helps you overcome some hurdles, if it helps you overcome a fear that would keep you from homeschooling, then I'm going to say go go with that thing. If, if, a, if a homeschool assistance program helps you feel confident and helps you feel like you're not missing out, then, then begin there. Because as you build confidence, you will trust yourself and you will feel comfortable. The thing is talk to your child. Uh, you might have it in your mind that graduation is really important because you attended it. And it was important to you because all your friends were there. Uh, your student may not feel that way at all. They may feel very differently about walking across the stage at graduation. It might not even be a value to them. I know I was really shocked when my last three kids did not want to attend the homeschool graduation. 
And, um, and I was just surprised, uh, but my older kids were more traditional. My older kids, I think, uh, picked up my desire for them to go through the graduation ceremony and kind of picked up that it was important. And so they carried that. Whereas my next group of kids who graduated didn't have that same connection. They weren't as involved in the homeschooling community. And so we really schooled very independently. And so they felt very independent and they were fine just to graduate on their own and acknowledge what we did as a family. So you uh, have the ability to make your own choices. You can choose some outside resources if it's important to you to have your child be able to walk across the graduation uh, with their peers. You have some outside programs that you can celebrate your graduation in an important way, either with a co-op or with um, your state homeschool support group. So, um, so you're not going to miss out. Most important thing is find out your state guidelines for graduation and begin making a plan for what your child needs to meet those requirements and head toward graduation. So it's an exciting time and, um, and it's, you know, a great time to work with your student and share with them exactly your expectations so that they know and they can be on the same page with you. In another one of these sessions, we will be talking further about specifically laying out a four-year plan for your high school student. So if you have questions about that, you can email me at amber at 200fingersandtoes.com and uh, I will kind of gather those questions and then be sharing those in an in-depth. It looks like it's it's going to be maybe next month. And so if you uh, would like to hear an in-depth session about building a four-year plan for your high schooler, then jump on, subscribe to the podcast so you can get it. We're on season two, and I'm really excited about bringing you um, just some more good information that really helps you feel confident about beginning to homeschool. So as always, I'm super proud of you for being uh, just a brave parent and going against the flow and making choices that really matter to your family. And I want to support you to find the tools and, um, and the things that you need to have a successful homeschool year. So you can find me at 200fingersandtoes.com. And, um, and again, this is Amber with In Due Season Homeschool. I hope you have an amazing day. Thanks.